Hi there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website PassMyInterview.com and in this next tutorial I will teach you how to pass a team leader interview. So if you are applying to become a team leader with any company or any organisation make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you pass your interview. And just very quickly please make sure you hit that subscribe button because then I can keep you updated with all the latest interview tips, strategies and top scoring answers and please do make sure you hit that like button because that tells me you find these tutorials useful and it motivates me to create more for you. Thank you very much. Let's get straight into the presentation. So the first team leader interview question that I strongly recommend you prepare for is tell me about yourself. This will come up right at the start of your team leader interview. It is imperative you give an outstanding positive answer. Now in your response to this first team leader interview question, talk about the skills and qualities you have that are relevant to the position of a team leader. Also, don't forget to tell the interviewer what you will do in the role if they hire you. Here's my example answer to help you. Tell me about yourself, here we go. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this team leader position today. Before I applied, I studied the job description to make sure I had the necessary leadership skills and the qualities to be able to perform to a consistently high standard in the role. I am a confident leader who can get the most out of any team. I pride myself on being able to deliver consistent results for my employer. I am able to delegate tasks based on my team members' strengths and I always ensure I fully brief my team on the objectives we are all responsible for. My leadership style is firm, consistent and one that is focused on achieving optimum results for my employer. Now if you hire me as your team leader, I will always put the commercial and strategic objectives of the business first and I will work hard to ensure the company maintains its position as a market leader. Now the second team leader interview question I strongly recommend you prepare for is why do you want to be a team leader? Now this next team leader interview question is obviously assessing your motivations for wanting to become a team leader. Now not everyone has what it takes to lead a team of people so make sure you have genuine reasons for wanting to be a team leader for their organization. Let's take a look at my example answer. Why do you want to be a team leader? Here's my example response. I want to be a team leader because I thrive in situations where I have full responsibility for achieving difficult targets and where I need to motivate my team to be the best they can be. Being a team leader will give me lots of job satisfaction. I am particularly attracted to the fact that I will need to build team morale, I will have to work towards developing an atmosphere of creativity and achievement and I will need to focus on ensuring the organization's culture and and their values are always adhered to by the people in my team. The next team leader interview question is, what's your leadership style? Now this question I believe is guaranteed to come up during your team leader interview. Now there are many different styles of leadership including autocratic style, consultative style and transformational style. Now whichever you choose, make sure you tell the interviewer the benefits of your style of leadership. Here's a great example answer to help you. What's your leadership style? Here we go. My style of leadership is a blend of authoritative and transformational. I am an authoritative leader because I am ultimately responsible for everything that happens in my team and therefore I will dictate what tasks need to be done and by when. However, I am also a transformational style of leader because I want my team to develop and grow as the company grows. I believe I have a responsibility responsibility as a team leader to help my team learn, improve and be the best versions of themselves possible. The next team leader interview question is, what's the first thing you will do as our newly appointed team leader? Wow, this is a difficult one to answer. So this common team leader interview question is assessing the plan you have in place for what you will do in the role once you start. If you don't have a plan, you won't get hired. Here's my example answer. What's the first thing you will do as our newly appointed team leader? Here we go. If I get to become your team leader, I will do three things. First of all, I will obtain a clear brief from you the 
senior management team to understand how I can help the company meet its goals and targets. Secondly, I will get to know my team inside out. I plan to carry out in-depth team appraisals with every member of staff to find out how they contribute to the team and what their strengths are. This will enable me to delegate tasks accordingly and quickly achieve the company's commercial objectives. Finally, I will brief the team fully on my expectations in respect of the performance I expect from everyone and also reiterate the values I want everyone to follow. It will then be down to me as the team leader to lead and motivate everyone along the way. How would you monitor the performance of your team? Now this team leader interview question is clearly assessing your ability to manage your team. Are you a weak team leader or are you one that is able to monitor the performance of your team sufficiently to enable them to operate at peak performance. Here's my example response to help you. How would you monitor the performance of your team? Here we go. I monitor the performance of my team by first of all setting them specific goals and targets I want them to achieve within set time frames. That way I have something to measure their performance against. As a team leader I always conduct six monthly performance reviews. Performance Performance reviews are absolutely vital for ensuring team members progress and they work to the expected standards. My performance reviews are a two-way discussion. They give the appraisee the opportunity to discuss their development needs and they allow me to set goals and targets. To summarize, I monitor the performance of my team by setting clear objectives and by listening to the needs of my team members. The next team leader interview question comes up often during team leader interviews and that is, what's the difference between leadership and management? Wow, this is a really difficult team leader interview question to answer correctly. If you don't know the difference between leadership and management, how can you become a competent leader? Let me give you a great example response. What's the difference between leadership and management? Here we go. Leadership is inspiring, motivating and directing a team of people towards achieving a set goal, project or target. Management, on the other hand, is making effective use of the resources, tools and the people you have at your disposal to achieve the same goal, project or target. I believe that to be effective as a team leader, you need to have a strong balance of both leadership and management skills. So there's a number of team leader interview questions and top scoring answers I recommend you prepare for. Now if you want to accelerate your learning even further and you want to pass your team leader interview make sure you click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. Head through to my website passmyinterview.com and you can download my full set of 23 team leader interview questions and top scoring answers including the ones I've given you today during this presentation. It's a fantastic resource and it's going to help you be the standout candidate at your team leader interview. Make sure you check that out right now. Thank you very much. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I can help you progress throughout your career. I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your team leader interview. Have a great day.